From the East Coast to the West Coast, we are everywhere true crime is. We are asking for the public's help. We are searching in the woods. We are doing what it takes here on the Bullhorn Betty channels to find answers to the most alarming cases we have been watching on the news. I can tell you personally that I have traveled this entire country seeking these answers and bringing that content right here to you here on the Bullhorn Betty channels and Bullhorn Betty crime stories. We are happy with the work that we've done. We brought many answers to the public and we have defied mainstream media in our pursuit of the truth in these cases. We will continue to work, we will continue to fight for these victims, and we will continue to tell their stories here on my channels. Welcome to the Bullhorn Betty brand of channels and the Coffee Club. Thank you for your love, thank you for your support, and more importantly, thank you for allowing me to bring these victims' stories to each and every one of you advocating for each of these victims. God bless you. God bless America, and more importantly, God bless our victims. Hey guys, Bullhorn Betty here. So I'm at the office, I'm working and everything like that, and I did a live on TikTok, and I just expressed my viewpoints about what I think about the, the $20,000 by these girls and, and and the fact that we want receipts to make sure that that money is being spent on what they said they want the money for and i gotta be honest with you we had a lot of people in there trolling and trying to say they did this and they did that and all this other stuff and demanded receipts and so after being insulted and stuff like that which always makes me weird because if you're not doing anything wrong why don't you just talk like you're a normal person and resolve it. But when I was saying this, they started with the insults. And you know how I do with the insults. It's never really good when you start insulting Bullhorn Betty. You know, I start going after them too. And then it's all, oh my gosh, she's drama. No, no, no. I actually talked to these two ladies months ago and told them exactly how I was and how I don't like drama. They kept dragging me into the drama and then they don't like the, the beast that they created. Um, so here is the video, this hot mess express of a video where it gets a little rough. Check it out. Let me know your thoughts. What did I do wrong? I'm questioning the information. Nothing people have it done to me time and time and time again, right? I have no problem producing receipts when I have to produce receipts because I always have receipts, right? So why insult people for asking if you're doing things above board? to show that you're doing the stuff above board. That's all I'm saying. Check this out. Well, hello, my beautiful people here on TikTok. Bullhorn Betty coming to you, bringing you guys the latest and greatest updates on the Sebastian Rogers case. There's not a whole lot of new information, but what I've been doing on YouTube is because of all the chaos and all the misinformation, all of my lives moving forward are going to be related to going back to the very beginning. We've been only using news sources and other interviews that were provided. We went over several interviews that the mom and the stepdad gave. We went over some uh, Seth Rogers interview. We've been identifying differences from story to story. We've been really honing in and having great conversation. I've been trying to keep these right about an hour, but like even today, um, went almost to two hours uh, on a live, maybe a little more than two hours, but it was definitely filled with a lot of great information. We've been going back from February 26, when none of us really knew about this case, and we've been reading the articles. What was said at those moments? Boots on the ground. Oh, thank you, me and you. It's nice to see you, my love. 
And we have been really looking at the language and the behavior of law enforcement. We've been taking literally everything. Some of these are in videos, some of these are in articles. So we've been reading everything verbatim and letting you guys listen to everything verbatim. It's been a great discussion on YouTube and I hope people here on TikTok start going back to the drawing board. Start with a blank screen, start all over again. Start all over again, we've missed some things. A few things that I learned from this morning's um, live, and something I keep, I, I miss, I miss. So in the Duchess interview, which is the very first interview we've ever had an opportunity to know or learn about this case and about the mom and stepfather, there were several things that were missing from that interview. Uh, one of those things is she specifically states that Sebastian came home around 6.30 and he was in his room playing until it was time to go to bed, never once mentioning he took the garbage out or left the inside of that home not one time. We also learned that in these two interviews, we did this interview as well as the one that was done by Chantel Channel, I'll tell you exactly what it is. Uh, that was done by Channel 4, WSMV Channel 4. And the WSMV Channel 4 interview, we didn't take the only the four minute clip, they actually released the full interview and we looked and dived into that interview. And again, not one time did she say she left the house, not one time did she say that Sebastian took the garbage out. These are the first two interviews that were ever, uh, that they ever participated in. Uh, there was also one that Seth did around that time and he did that, oh gracious, I don't remember which, which channel he did that on. Oh, thank you, Tiffany. But he did that on a different channel and it, I think, oh, it was channel 17, Fox 17. And it was just an audio. It sounded like she took the interview over the phone. So there was no video for him because it was an over the phone interview. And he was very, very, very upset. And um, he made his, while, while the other two interviews were made about, you know, how, what they're dealing with, you know, what mom and stepdad are dealing with, how they're uh, coping, how them, 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 them. them to the point that the um, the lady that was giving them the interview from Channel 4 was like, I know Sebastian's in here somewhere, right? As opposed to the same type of interview provided to Seth from, from Fox uh, 17, and he made it every bit about Sebastian. The day before, we listened to the interview from the school teachers. And wow, you know what? One of the things that my audience had noticed, noticed was how much his teachers loved and adored him. And then you, and that was the first interview. And then we go over to the interview, the very first interview with uh, the mom and stepfather. And they didn't, they, they just didn't act like they were very caring or endearing as opposed to the, the one we had just heard the day before from the teachers. And then you've, you, you've got the one from Seth, which he's in tears. He just wants his son back. And it was, very, it was very hard to watch and very hard to listen to. It broke my heart. But at the end of the day, we know that there are people out there praying for the safe return of Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. We know that it's been almost seven months since he disappeared. We know that there has been absolutely zero confirmed sightings of this boy. There have been sightings and all of those sightings have been followed through and have been determined not to be Sebastian. So it's not that they didn't look into it and it's a possibility it could be him because they haven't found the people. They actually found every single person that um, has called in a tip related to Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers and they've all been um, talk to and determine not to be Sebastian Rogers. So this is an uphill battle for many of us. This is a lot of us have come together for the sake of this child and learning more about his case and trying to provide some insight or answers uh, related to this case. And it's unfortunate because none of those things have panned out. What we have here is a situation where a boy went to bed at night 
and was not in his bed that morning. But with the lack of video evidence and the lack of dog scent, okay, remember this child walked out of his house barefoot, there should be some scent, you know, from touch DNA, even if he had his socks on. If he had his socks on, because you know what they use for scent dogs? Your shoes. Did you know that? The best source of scent is your shoes. What goes on in your shoe? What goes, goes, goes on your feet before it goes into the shoe? A sock, right? So if a shoe can have the smell in it for the scent, the sock should have the smell in it for the scent because it's got to go through the sock to get into the shoe. So even if this child walked out barefoot or with, a so or with socks on, at the end of the day, this child's scent should have been very noticeable on the outside of that house just an hour or so or a few hours after this child allegedly walked out. But that's not the information that we're getting. So we have a lot of people that are using their noggin, right? And sometimes that can be um, a double-edged sword because when there's lack of information, a lot of people can be very, very, very creative with what they think something means or doesn't mean. And a lot of that is related to not being educated in a certain subject matter. We know about scent DNA, or excuse me, scent from, for dogs. We know about touch DNA. All of these things are, when you're walking and rubbing against something, even a leaf, you're leaving your touch DNA, your touch DNA. So if there's touch DNA, there's something that could be found. A child left their home from the front door, allegedly, down the porch, allegedly, possibly through the back of the house, allegedly. But we've also learned in these interviews that Sebastian does not like dirt, does not like bugs, even a fly, he's like, ah! right? That's exactly how kind of his his mom, you know, acted in that um, interview with WSMV. She even said that. He, he sees a bug, and just a fly. He's like, ah, you know, ooh, or something like that. That's how she did it. So we have more reasons why this child wouldn't walk out the, out the door. And a lot of people are trying to say, oh, he's just 15 years old. Who's to say he didn't walk out the door? Well, the differences between him and a normal 15-year-old boy is he's autistic, okay? He's a high-functioning autistic boy. However, he's not a runner. And if you know anything about autism, the one thing that is, does not bode with autism is spontaneous. Autistic children just don't wake up one day and think it's, it, you know, they're not going to put their shoes on or they're not going to take their switch or they're just going to spontaneously wake up in the middle of the night and walk out. That is totally opposite of what we know about autistic children. Opposite. Thank you, Kendra. God bless you. So what we learned about autistic children is that uh, a schedule, being doing certain things the same way every single day is what allows them to thrive well. So one day this, this child just wakes up and says, I don't want to be autistic anymore. I'm going to leave without my, I'm going to go outside of my comfort zone. The stuff that makes autistic children have meltdowns. This autistic child just shakes all of that, that, that stuff he can't control, not to put his shoes on, to go out into the cold weather, into the dirt, and with the bugs. None of those things make sense. Every last parent that has given an interview from Chris to Katie to Seth have all stated these statements. Doesn't like dirt. Doesn't like bugs. Has sensory issues. Always puts his shoes on. So how could it be? How could it be? This is too much like uh, Kyron Harmon's case from Oregon. I didn't cover that case. Maybe I need to look into it. 
but it's definitely something that makes us say, hmm, you know, what is really going on here? And while everybody keeps saying, why are we focusing on the parents? Well, we're actually not focusing on the parents as much as we're focusing on the factual information, which unfortunately put one set of parents in the hot seat, okay? Because in any other situation, when we hear, say, a husband and a wife or a boyfriend and a girlfriend situation, right, and we get a missing person call for a wife or a girlfriend, and the boyfriend or husband says, yeah, law enforcement, um, I woke up this morning and, and my wife must have ran off with her boyfriend. What did she take with you? Well, you know, her, her purse is still here, her cell phone's still here, and her keys and money's still here. When we hear a story like that, knowing that the boyfriend slash husband is the last person to see the female alive and well, then, well, you know what? I, I just want to make sure that you know this, Melissa. This is a Seth friendly channel. So if you think the man's sketchy, this probably isn't the channel for you. You might want to go to a hate channel or something. I just want to let you know because Seth is a good man trying to find his daughter or find find his son. And not only that, but you guys realize he's also a disabled man. Okay? So he does have his own meltdowns. You get it? And I don't understand why he would be sketchy unless you're picking on a disabled man. Which doesn't make you look too good in my opinion. Just saying. But whenever I whenever I ask people what makes them so sketchy, they can't tell me. They start literate, they start regurgitating all the talking points of the hate channels, which are inaccurate. Everyone's guilty until proven innocent. I disagree. Oh, until proven innocent. <laughs> I agree, but disagree. You know, I, in my opinion, every, you know, everybody's like, "Oh, they're innocent until proven guilty." And I'm like, well, they have to still be accused, right? They still have to be arrested. They still have to be processed. They still have to go to jail before they have their day in court and are innocent until proven guilty. But you said it the right way. <laughs> I just missed it. <laughs> but everybody keeps asking that. And the bottom line is, is where? how do you not involve a, a parent that was last seen with the child? You know? And especially when that those parents' stories have changed. And we're going through some of the changes right now as we're starting this, this entire case back from square one. And it's what I have to do because when things start getting so chaotic and so littered with misinformation, you got to bring the entire audience back to the facts of the case and why we are assessing the case the way we are and why we're theorizing the way we are, why we're speculating the way we are is because there's factual information that is allowing us to do that. And people have forgotten about the factual information and are all hung on all of the misinformation. And that's a problem. People are talking to me and acting like this misinformation is the gospel. And it's like, that's wrong. That's Here's the proof. I just put um, Seth's timesheets because I'm so sick and tired of people talking about him being gone for two hours because some stupid Yahoo with not a scintilla of receipts can just speak and say, oh, by the way, I heard he wasn't at work for two hours. All of a sudden, everybody just listens to it. It is the most, like, but then when you produce the receipt to debunk it, they're like, oh, well, you know, uh, you, you, why did you cut off part of the email? Because it's a part of the email that you don't have the, the right to know. If you guys would like to see those receipts, they're on my community tab on YouTube. You can go pull them off and look at them. And then we have one stupid idiot that wants to say, oh, well, he, 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 he clocked back in for 30 minutes that morning. Why did he have to clock back in? And they don't realize his work day starts at night. So when he cocked back in on the 25th at 7 to 7.30, that was for the prior day's work. So he gets off early morning on the 25th and he has to go back to work by 7 p.m. on the 25th. 
He only gets several hours before he starts his new shift. And these people can't even read a stupid timesheet. They're idiots. This man was at work and didn't even get a lunch break the day his son disappeared. And these people are so arrogant and so self-absorbed and have no self-awareness whatsoever that they can't even acknowledge when they are wrong. You know what they do? They double down. They double down. It's very frustrating. It's very frustrating. We absolutely, without a doubt, know that Seth was at work, Seth didn't leave work, and he was on video. Everybody's like, why don't you produce the video? Because it's a jail, and that's the one thing that they are uh, statutorily uh, not allowed to, statutorily, by law, not allowed to release because it's in a jail. So for all the, the dum-dums on these social media platforms that all, all, all think that Seth is this, I mean, he hasn't even lived in the area very long. He couldn't even tell you where things are in Hendersonville, Tennessee. He's not from the area. Like, people do not use their noggin too well. They've got very, very creative minds that don't bode with fact. And quite frankly, that lady that raised $22,000, not one billboard has been put up. I think she, she scammed people of money. Her and her friend scammed people out of money. Not one billboard do I see up for this child from them. Because I do have the receipts from the other people that are doing billboards and exactly where they are. And all I get from this Yahoo is a freaking calculator. A calculator. That's not a receipt. That's not a receipt at all. And just so happens to have money and, and even raise more money to come out to try to see me get arrested when I didn't have committed no crimes, I know what they are. They are they're not blip void videos. They are basically this right here, and it, it goes up for about eight seconds. I have a blip account. I know exactly how it works. I know exactly how it works, but I haven't seen one receipt for those. I haven't seen one dollar because your dashboard on blip you can you can uh show people exactly how many boards are going how length that what the length of time is where they're located and much money they've spent so far she's provided none of that she just took your money so people need on this platform need to be demanding freaking receipts because a calculator is not a receipt. She has not provided a damn thing that I can see. If, you, if you've if you got it, please send it over. I'll, I'll verify the receipt. Very easy. Bullhornbetty at gmail.com. I don't want to hear words. I want to see, I want to see it in black and white. I'm a fact person. That means unless you've got the receipts, I don't believe squat, especially from this group. I will tell you that. I will tell you that. Um... So let's get some receipts about it, because I'm, I'm definitely, uh, without a doubt, very curious uh, as to what has been spent out of the $22,000 so far. And I want an account of every penny, because to be honest with you, from what I heard in the back chats, it's not being spent the way it's supposed to be spent. Just saying. It's costing, I want to see it. Don't, I, listen, I have a blip account. I know how much this stuff costs. I can tell you that that that, that beached whale over on YouTube that uh, CP and KP like to go and, and, you know, suck up to, she's been running blip boards for well over a month and has only spent $3,900. So I'd love to see how people are spending $8,700. Okay? And this is for months, at least a month, 30 days. $3,900 on various uh, blip boards. And actually, I think it might have been over 30 days, like about 60 days. So don't come in here because I, 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 I have, you know, we've been doing this for a while. 
You guys over here on TikTok just throw words out without receipts and everybody believes it. Over on YouTube, we don't fly like that. You can you ask Crabtree. He ain't, he ain't being treated very good over there. I told you guys come over to YouTube with this nonsense. Where am I? I'm not the one collecting $22,000, dumb dumb. <laughs> well, receipts. I'm not doing blip boards because they're scams. What are you talking about? My receipts? When I collect money, my receipts go out. People can see where I'm going. <laughs> oh, my God. That, that me receipts? Well, if I had $22,000 and blasting all over social media, I'm doing all these, these boards, yeah, I would have receipts. It would be, people wouldn't have to fish for them. People wouldn't have to fish for them. The people that people know, the people that know, know. People that know, know, you know. But I'd, I'd like to see receipts. Because everybody's been talking this mad cash shit about Seth Rogers, and I produce receipts. You know what I'm saying? I produce receipts. People sit here and talk so much crap on these channels without one scintilla of factual information, one documentation, or anything else related to the subject matter in which they're talking about, and, and people just believe them. I had somebody come into my chat and say, I called uh, the health department. Do you guys know that I, I, I don't have time to call the health department? I don't even have the time to call my mama, much less getting into that nonsense. What I say on my channel is what I say. If the people are dirtbags, I'm going to say they're dirtbags, but I ain't going to go in and start calling people like a, a freaking idiot. I'll leave the idiots to do that. You know? So let's get off the fact that, oh, we want your receipts. I produce my receipts. Go over to YouTube. This lady needs to produce hers. And I'm sick of people protecting her and people sending me a calculator a photo of a calculator to justify this kind of money. That does not, that's not receipts, okay? I'll take a picture of my calculator and tell you I'm making a million dollars. It doesn't make it so. Just saying. Just saying. Send it to me, big mama. Come on, big girl. Bullhornbetty at gmail.com. Send it to me. Why should I have to go fishing for it? I got a bigger damn platform than any of them. And I'm saying I don't trust her. I want the damn receipts. Bullhornbetty at gmail.com. Bullhornbetty at gmail.com. Anybody in my chat that wants to prove me wrong, give me some receipts because I'm going to say they're manufactured as what? Unless I can see that, that blip board in real time, I'm not going to believe it. You know why? Because these people are criminals. I don't trust criminals. So again, send me the receipts. Bullhornbetty at gmail.com. Bullhornbetty at gmail.com. Um, if I'm wrong, I say I'm wrong. You know why? Because I'm a real woman. I don't, have a, I don't have a bone in this fight, but I will tell you, I don't like scammers. And this smells very much like a scam to me because I've been around the block and we had a scam very much similar to this in the Summer Wells case. And it was with 423, 423 Chase. You don't even have that right, Rhiannon, Rhiannon, whatever. Do you know that that coupled with all of my uh, civil suits, my citations, you're an idiot. So you can't even do good research. That shows me how much of an idiot you are. Get out of here with that bullshit. Bye. Go back to your leader. <laughs> Go back to your leader. <laughs> Why name common and shaman? Why? Why does it bother you? Why are you over on my channel if you don't like name calling and shaming? I came out here all nice on TikTok, remember that. But these two yahoos wanted to cause a whole bunch of stuff bringing after I spoke to them directly and said, don't bring the drama to my front door. And now you guys can't handle it when you bring the drama to my front door. I told you not to do it, right? I play fair, but when you start knocking me, I'm going to push back, I'm Bullhorn Betty. If you don't know that name, get, get it clear and get it right. I push back. 
You don't want the shit, don't start the shit. That's how we roll over here. That's how we roll over here. All you haters here are fans. They are. They watch me. They watch me nonstop. Well, then send them to me. Since you guys are so confident that this lady's got the receipts, send them to me. It's easy. Bullhornbetty at gmail.com. Shut my mouth. Shut my mouth. I see you. That is absolutely in absolutely inaccurate. I've never been convicted. You can't be on a registry when you have never been convicted of those charges. You, who are you guys listening to? Again, more misinformation from stupid idiots. Misinformation. Misinformation. How much would one blip board cost? Well, they're, they're different. So it's like, it can be like a dollar for an eight second um, uh, advertisement. These are digital billboards. So what ends up happening is the digital billboards uh, do blips. So have you ever seen digital billboards when you're driving? It has one advertisement, and then a few seconds later, it puts another advertisement up. Those are blips. So those go on like eight. Uh, they go on different, um, um, you know, some can be longer than others, depending on how much you're spending on them, but they're just blips. They, they go up, and then a new advertisement goes behind them. So whoever is purchasing the blips on that board are in rotation with one another. So they pop up. They're not, sta they're not stationary. So they pop up for a few seconds. They move. They pop up for a few seconds. They move. And this happens, and this is only for the digital bill, uh, billboards. If they don't have the di digital billboards, then they're not being advertised because those stationary billboards, you've got to pay a lot of money to have a stationary billboard because that film over those those billboards are vinyl. So those are huge, huge. You wouldn't believe how big. Like they're like the size of my freaking house. These vinyl advertisements, and they go up there, and they have to be uh, stapled on those billboards. And those are very those are very costly. One for the print that goes on the boards, and then it's monthly cost for the board. I don't do uh, I don't do stationary billboards. I don't do fundraising for that kind of stuff right there. Because it, it can get, because you're signing, I'm, I have to sign a contract, then I'm on the hook for the contract. If money doesn't come in or we're short money, that means I'm on the hook for the money. I don't, I don't do that. I don't do that. So I stay away from the billboards, but I can tell you that Seth's team, and this is what really frustrates me, has already eight billboards donated to them. Eight billboards donated to them, free of charge. These people could have actually picked up the phone and called some of these billboard people that have billboards that are not being used and could have used those billboards free of charge. They would have gotten a tax credit for, um, you know, what is it, um, donation, like a donation type of credit for using it for this type of, you know, situation where they're giving a free board out to advertise a missing person. They could take tax deductions for that. So it really is a win-win because they're able to take a tax deduction for the cost of that empty billboard that's not even being used. So there is that. So I, I don't understand why they're going the most expensive way and raising money and really don't have the, the to be able to produce legitimately how, where, how and where this money is being spent. So again, I'd like somebody to, maybe tonight, if this chick is on and wants to you know, talk about her receipts, have her pull her blip account up and see exactly how much money they've spent on these in real time. Something where they can't modify the um, <laughs> on these in real time. Something where they can't modify the um, <laughs> That is one billboard. I don't want to see one billboard. I want to see how much money they're spending. Okay? Don't tell me that this is your receipt and, and sh shut the F up. Why are you on my channel to begin with if you want me to shut up? All you do is just scroll up. You know how to scroll, right? Scroll. So why don't you shut the F up? <laughs> just saying. Just saying. That is not a receipt. That is not a receipt. Then send it to me. Why is it so hard? Why are you guys arguing with me? Just send me what I'm asking for. Bullhornbetty at gmail.com and shut your pie hole. It's really simple. I bet you you can't. I want to see real 
time of her blip account and how much money she spent. So if you guys can't produce it to me, then clearly she's not spending what she is saying that she's spending. Otherwise, she should have no problem being open and transparent. Just saying. I sent 10 attachments. Okay, thank you. I'll look at them. I want receipts on how much money she spent. Don't send me pictures of billboards. I want receipts, legitimate receipts. I want a picture of her blip account showing how much she has spent in real time. Why am I asking it to be done on a live stream? Is because she can't manufacture or doctor the information on a screenshot. That's why I'm asking for it. So there are reasons for me asking for it, not just to be a stickler on details. It's just I've been around the block a time or two and know how this thing is done. So if somebody can just simply give me her stinking receipts, I'm over it. No big deal. No harm, no foul. And I love it. When people have nothing to say, they're like, oh, she doesn't owe you a darn thing. Are you kidding me? She used a missing boy's name that she has no authorization to collect money for. She was in the news that she collected all this money and we can't see it being spent on a fundraiser. Do you realize I can go down and file uh, fraud charges without giving one dime? Do you know that? So yes, I demand receipts. And if somebody would rather quit arguing with me about it and just send me the darn receipts, we can all put this behind us. Well, good. Then you guys should have no problem. I'm not going to her, her account. She's blocked. But you guys can. So send me receipts. Screen record her showing her blip account. I'll shut up about it. I'll shut up about it. So there you are. Seth has boards up in Eastern. Here we go. Thank you, Chasen. Seth has billboards up in Eastern Tennessee, Georgia, uh, Tullahoma, Murphy, North Carolina, Young Harris. We can produce all this stuff. Why can't you instead of just insults? Hmm, maybe there's something to hide there. Because the only time people start throwing insults instead of facts is when they have no facts and all they have is insults. Just saying. Just saying. Like I said, been around the block a time or two. The only time people start insulting me when, when they can't argue with me on fact. I've never seen a billboard in Memphis. Well, that's good. That's good. You know, I, I'm hoping, um, show the receipts. It's in your email. I'll go check them out. Actually, I'll check them out right here. Let's see what we got. I, I forgot I'm in my office today. <laughs> I'm not usually in my office. But I have this big, huge, beautiful computer, right? Okay, so I'm in my email at bullhornbetty at gmail.com. And so far, I've got... I've got nothing. Pause, campaign, running, impressions. These can all be me. I don't like screenshots. Send me a video in real time where these things are and how much money has been spent. And not only that, why is it, if they did only spend, let's see how much money they got here. I believe those, but this up here looks really weird because everything has those weird marks on it, like roll for BBQ and Reddit. You see all those on those screenshots, but when you get to the blips, it's nice and clear. It's nice and clear. I'd like to see that in real time. And everybody said she spent $8,000 so far on this one. It, it says, now again, these things can be manufactured. Why I want a video in real time. It says $6,253.91. Now if we were to go through all of these, we've got them in Tampa, Florida, in a, in a uh, basically a MLK. Do you guys even know? My word, these people are stupid. Um... I don't think, do they, are they even being strategic on where these are going? Do you guys even know where these are at? Houston's good. 
That's about it so far. The ones in Florida, tell them to stay out of Florida if they're going to put them, put the signs in the ghetto. Just saying. Two tenths mile East Jackson Road in Rio Grande, Texas, far Texas. I think that might even be a desolate area as well. Like you guys, this is, did they just go through here and say, oh, we're going to put it here, put it here. Kingsport, Tennessee, that's decent. That's in Tennessee. Nashville, eh, Fessler Lane, eh, it's 124, so that's decent. But these other places they've got, they have literally no idea. Ringgold, Ringgold, Georgia. Do you know how tiny that place is? I think she's just putting them up anywhere. She's not being very smart about the location. I would rather have a few great locations and then being on there longer. But either way, I'd I still want a... Um, so what they're saying is they've got this. And this is what I'm going to show you guys right here. I'm not going to dock somebody's address. Let me go up here. Let me make sure that we get this out of yours. Okay, so let me... So this is the this is the only re oh I can't show it well yeah maybe I can hold on let me take my background off there we go let me turn this around flip camera so there's the only one it's in Kingsport Tennessee that they sent me a picture of um, let me turn this around because again I got to make sure that I'm doing this the right way give me just a second. And so you see, you see how there's a lot of writing on all these screenshots. There's a lot of writing like at the top of these, of, of these screenshots. And then you come to this one and it's clear. I don't know when this was taken. So there it is, that's, that's it. No, no indentations. These right here, I just wanna let you know, this is the easiest way to manufacture and why I insist on seeing a video of this as opposed to a screenshot. Now when we go up, look at all of the other ones. Look at all this writing and stuff over here, all on all of this. But this one here is crystal clear, crystal clear. But all the other stuff has writing all over it. The, the um, see all this stuff right here. But none of, it, but that one is crystal clear. You know, it just, I don't like it. I want to see it in real time. Just me, pref my preference. I want to see it in real time. I don't trust her. I, I won't lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't trust her. Period. I don't. And you can't force me to. Just saying. You can't force me to trust the lady. I think there's some major problems there. And her intentions aren't good. And I heard she already spent some of the money on herself. That's why I'm demanding receipts. You see, I always have a reason to do what I do. You don't, you don't have to like me. You don't have to, but I'm, I'm legit. I'm a fact finder. So you guys can have your own opinion. She's honest. I trust her. Well, then great. Then why are you here? It seems like when you have to have so many people fighting your battles, there's something wrong. And obviously we have some people over here that are having to fight her battles. Just saying. See, everybody coming over here. I'm asking legit information and they're like, oh, you don't deserve it. You don't need this. You don't need this. Why don't you shut me up? Instead of insulting me, just produce the stuff. This is okay, but I still want to see it in real time. And I'm sure it's easy enough for her to do, right? So she can do just like I did. Turn this around and show you guys everything. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. Um, I'm a fact uh, fact finding chick. I'm a web sleuth. I like to have things um, proper. I like the proper documentation. And for most people, they applaud that and respect that instead of just buying into just anything anybody tells them. I call those people sheep. Okay. That's what I call them, sheep. So I like, I like people that can stand on their own and defend themselves. I don't need a, 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 a whole bunch of people coming and, and defending me because I don't defend myself and I don't defend other people. You know why? Because I really don't care what people think about me. 
or how they uh, their opinion of me because I'd have to respect them to care about what their opinion of me is. And there's very little content creators, particularly on this platform, that I can really care about. There's a few. But these yahoos that are spitting out all this misinformation, I've got no respect for. None. I've never said anything nasty about either one of those ladies before they started, they started bashing me. Because I don't play like that. Even if I have some thoughts and stuff, I keep them to myself until somebody gets sideways. So there is that. And you guys don't have to like me. I really don't care. That's the beauty of being Bullhorn Betty. At the end of the day, I still get the clicks and the views. You know why? Because I'm not a bottom dweller and I leave my basement every now and again to go out there and actually do something for somebody else other than myself. And people like to watch and support the work I do. These people sit at home all day for hours and hours on end, could bitching and moaning and groaning and complaining and not doing one thing to really help. But hey, they could spend money. That's one thing for sure. So anyways, guys, go have a great day. I know they don't like it when I come over here and start rocking the boat over here, but I'm sorry. You've been rocking my boat for several months now. It's time for me to start standing up and, and, and not staying silent. And not staying silent. So these people, oh, I guarantee $22,000 is not going to be spent on this. I'd love to see that because I already heard she spent some of the money on herself. Sorry. And I, I trust the people that are reporting that stuff to me because I've got ears, eyes, ears, and tentacles literally everywhere. That's what makes me so good. Just, just saying. I bet you she did. Mark my words, we will find out. The proof will be in the pudding, and you guys are going to be like, well, it was only this much. What does it matter? Mark my words. Mark my words. Mark my words. All right, guys, rock it out with your coffee beans out. Don't forget to be fearless. If you see something, say something. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And until next time, please be safe. But more importantly, please be kind to one another, unless you're a scumbag. And then to each their own. God bless.